you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm just gonna be running through a few different kind of spring outfit ideas. Um, I just wanted to firstly start by saying, I mean, what a weird world we're living in at the moment. But yeah, I hope everyone is well. I hope you're okay. I hope you're all staying safe. I am gonna be focusing a lot on just trying to produce as much content for you guys as possible at the moment whether it's just to kind of brighten your day up, provide um, entertainment, keep you a little bit more sane if you guys are staying inside in like quarantine or whatever it may be. But I just wanna, yeah, I want all my videos to stay really, really positive, but I honestly really hope that everyone is well. I hope you're okay. And yeah, I'm just gonna be cracking on and showing you these spring outfits. But anyway, so the outfits I'm gonna show you today so there are a few different kind of like complete outfits. I've got four. I've got four different outfits to show you, each kind of for different occasions, that kind of vibe, all curve friendly. I am the queen of comfort. So all of these are still nice and stylish. You're still gonna look great, but you're gonna be comfortable at the same time. So yeah, let me show you what I got. Right, first outfit. So this is to me a kind of ideal, like going out for lunch, doing a bit of shopping, can easily transition into the evening. I say this all the time, but I try to make sure that my outfits are quite like transitional. Um, so I know you're probably bored of hearing that, but that is how it is. So I've got this outfit here, which is basically, oh, it's falling off already. So I have this, long sleeve kind of thin jumper, long sleeve top, which has this leather detailing on the sleeves here and teamed it up with this really nice kind of washed out denim jacket. Wearing that with a midi um, silky kind of skirt. This is like a really comfortable kind of outfit. So the jumper is actually pretty old. I got this from Zara about a million years ago, but having that tucked into the kind of loose kind of floaty midi skirt and then just chucking on this jacket which is from new look i'll link as much of this down below as possible um but yeah chucking on the denim jacket just kind of makes it a little bit more casual and this is going to be really kind of like figure flattering because you've kind of creating that silhouette where you've got the top tucked into the skirt and the nice floatiness at the bottom it's going to be really really flattering and really comfortable you can always change the denim jacket out for like a leather one or if it's a bit cold outside put on more of a kind of woolen coat but this is like a really nice kind of casual shopping outfit and then I would team it with some leather ankle boots so you'll have a little bit of leg out but not too much because let's face it although it is spring it's still pretty cold outside so yeah I got these boots they're actually from George at Asda I got these in the sale for like eight pounds and I'm not sure if I'll be able to find them but I'll try my best these are so comfortable. They've got like a nice chunky heel on, really great for doing lots of walking and they instantly dress up that outfit. Are you coming downstairs? Yeah. I'll wait for a moment. Do you want tea? Uh, yes, please. Yeah? Yeah. Cool. And then, obviously you need a bag. This is, honestly, this bag, I'm gonna show you with all of these outfits because this bag has been glued to me since I got it. So you may recognize this from the Nasty Gal haul that I did. It's just a really nice kind of, either kind of like sling on bag like that, or you can double up the handle. But this bag, honestly, looks great with absolutely everything. And it's a really great size as well to fit all of your stuff in. So this is like probably the biggest staple out of all, all of these outfits. Um, yeah, so jacket's new look, skirt is Primark, the jumpers, Zara, I de they definitely won't have that anymore, but I'll try and find something as similar as possible. Bag is Nasty Gal and boots are Asda. But generally speaking, this is actually quite a cheap outfit. None of these items cost a lot of money at all. You guys know I'm a bargain hunter. Um, so yeah, a really nice kind of affordable, comfortable, stylish spring day to evening outfit. 
Okay, so next outfit, very similar to before. I have this really pretty green dress on. You guys may recognize this from the Primark haul I just did. So it's a really nice kind of, nice floaty dress, really nice spring colors. Looks great teamed up with this leather jacket. Um, this leather jacket I actually got from TK Maxx a while ago. So I won't be able to find the exact same one, but I'll find something very similar. And I would cinch in the waist with this belt here. This is from Yours Clothing, and it has this really beautiful kind of pearl detailing on it. But this is great just to kind of cinch this in, create a waist. Um, this belt was super cheap. I think it's out of stock. So again, I'll try and find something really similar. But again, this is a great, really comfortable day-to-day -day outfit. Um, but you kind of have a bit more of an edge with like the bike jacket and the belt. You've got a little bit of like bling on there. And then what I would wear these with is these bad boys. So I would just literally chuck on a pair of knee-high boots. These are like a suede effect and they're from Fashion Nova. But this will instantly just dress up this outfit so much. Um, alternatively, you could chuck on a pair of tights if you want to be a bit warmer and put on a little ankle boot like this would also look really great. You can also, when it is warmer, just wear this with some like kind of like white plimp sorty trainers, something like that. There are so many different ways to wear this dress, but I just think it's really nice, kind of looks quite edgy. And then you do have a little bit of color, a little bit of detailing in there as well. And then of course, it goes with the back. <laughs> Right, next outfit. So, like I said, I'm the queen of comfort. I do spend most of my time in leggings. So I feel like I've had to finesse the way that I can like dress up leggings so they look a lot more presentable than they actually are. So I have got this outfit for you guys. The best part of the outfit is this jackety kind of jumper thing. I'll show you in a minute. So. These are one of my favourite pairs of leggings. These are actually seamless leggings from Amazon. Um, and they, these are so friggin' comfortable. They're from a brand called Aurique. They're really affordable, really comfortable, really good wearing. Come in loads of different colours. This one I absolutely love with the cream and the black. It's their khaki colour. But these are honestly... A st everyone needs a pair of leggings like these. I have these in pink, I have them in blue, I have them in three quarter length, full length everything these leggings are legit amazing so those are from amazon and then teaming it up with this so i would normally just chuck on a jumper or a kind of t-shirt this one has a little slogan on it ain't laurent without eve um so it's a little kind of designer gp t-shirt pretty sure i got that from amazon as like this whole outfit's from amazon um yeah, so a really nice little simple slogan t-shirt and then teamed with this. Oh, I wish you guys could feel this. So this is like a zip up kind of fleecy jacket jumper in this really nice cream color. I love this because it's still quite fitted and even though it's a big kind of chunky jumper, it's, this hanger is like attached to my hair. Um, even though it's a big kind of fleecy jumper type jacket, it's really flattering because it has, if you're curvy and you go in and out, it has really good like detailing and seaming on it to make it more flattering. Again, this was, I can't remember how much this was, but this is from the Amazon Essentials range. It feels amazing. It's like a teddy bear blanket feel. They These come in different colours as well, but I love the white. It instantly just kind of, for someone who wears a lot of dark colours, instantly just kind of brightens up any outfit like that um, and then I would pair it with my go-to trainers which are very very dirty as you can see but I wear these literally everywhere so these are the Nike Air Force trainers these aren't cheap guys but personally because I wear them so often these are definitely worth it if you're someone who does live in trainers or leggings even on the weekends it's so worth investing in a pair of really nice kind of comfortable trainers that are going to last you a long time. And then I like these because they're not like my usual sport trainers. Um, they have that really nice kind of like retro look and they're really comfortable. 
and they go with so much stuff. I wear these with jeans, I would wear them with like dresses and skirts as well. Very versatile, definitely worth the money, but really nice kind of comfy weekend outfit that, yeah, doesn't look really slouchy and like you've not made an effort. Comfort is key, but then you also look good. Last but not least, another kind of like really nice comfortable weekend outfit. I have this kind of jeans, jumper, blazer duo. Um, so obviously workwear, you can swap out the jeans for something a little bit more office appropriate, but I absolutely love this blazer. I'm so fussy with blazers and I'm in love with this one. So I've teamed it up with this, you, there's so much black going on in this room, you probably can't even see it. Um, I've teamed it up with this jumper, which has a really pretty kind of flute sleeve on it. The jumper's really nice and thin, so it's great to layer underneath jackets. Um, and it's from Yours Clothing. Really nice quality and really affordable. And then I just chucked on this jacket over the top. And you can obviously add like loads of layered jewellery, um, some necklaces to just jazz it up a little bit. I'll link below a couple of ones that I like to use. Um, but this blazer is actually from Amazon. Yeah, it's an Amazon own brand one. It's very, very thin, a very light jacket, but you have this really nice kind of like plaid. It's not even plaid, it's just like a really light check. It's really flattering, a really nice kind of easy chuck on jacket and then a little bit of ripped denim just to kind of make it a little bit more casual so like I said if you are going to wear it to the office you could swap out the jeans for um yeah maybe like some black work trousers or a skirt or something like that and it would instantly I mean the top half works in an office but I would team it with the jeans to make it a little bit more casual um and more of like a weekend outfit the jeans I get so many questions about these these are the Topshop Jamie jeans. So I've said that I'm a massive fan of Topshop jeans. Previously, I think I, I used to get the Johnny ones. I think they were called Johnny. These ones are a lot thicker. They're really, really stretchy, really comfortable, have a legging type feel, um, but they're a lot thicker and more durable than I think, I think the Johnny ones. So I would definitely, definitely recommend the Jamie ones. The only thing with Topshop jeans is they can be really expensive. I actually picked these up in the sale. So definitely keep an eye open because they do come up in the sale every so often. But I just love the amount of kind of like distressing on these and the wash of them is perfect. And then let's talk about shoes. Two different options here. You can obviously dress it down with a pair of trainers. This is very like a smart casual mix obviously like the smarts, the blazer, and then dressing it down with like the jeans and the trainers. Or obviously if you are going maybe out for dinner or something like that, just chuck on a pair of heeled boots, would look great. And then things like you can add on like a red lip to just have a pop of color, things like that. As you could probably tell my color palette, very dark and muted. So I do like to put on like a bit of lipstick every so often, just to kind of like brighten up the look. But, and again, obviously it's gotta be done goes with the bag. The bag goes with literally everything. The bag actually even goes with the super casual um, outfit with like the fluffy jacket. So yeah, really nice, comfortable spring attire. You've got, what have I done? A jeans outfit, a skirt outfit, a dress outfit, a comfy outfit. So there's a few different kind of options there. Um, those are probably like my staple items for spring. I feel like if you have those four outfits, you're probably gonna be good. And then obviously you can like mix and match things quite a lot. For example, that last outfit, you can chuck on the denim jacket instead or the leather jacket. Um, or obviously with the first one, you could chuck on the blazer. Don't think it would go with the skirt. Anyway, but you can kind of interchange them quite a lot. Um, everything's just really comfortable, really affordable and figure flattering, especially for those who are curvy. Um, but yeah, 
that is it that's my mini kind of like spring outfit capsule wardrobe haul um like i said before i'm gonna try and leave all of the links down below but some of these items are a little bit older and i don't know if i'll be able to find them if i can't find them i will find something as similar as possible um yeah but i hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you have please don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel and if you haven't already subscribed don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn your notifications on so you never miss an upcoming video and until next time i will see you guys later